Pierce Arrow Model 41 Convertible Sedan by LeBaron 1931. Two-tone dark and light brown with dark brown belt lines, chassis, running gear and orange pinstriping with walnut brown leather interior and a 10 canvas convertible top. Engine, L head, straight 8, pressure feed engine lubrication, 385 sit 132 bhp at 3000 revolutions per minute, gearbox, 4 speed manual, suspension, semi elliptic leaf springs front and rear, brakes, 4 wheel mechanical drum, left hand drive. This unusually handsome convertible sedan represents one of the great classic era body styles fitted to one of the best chassis of the period. The year 1931 is quite significant as the second stage of Studebaker's revival of the Pierce Arrow mark. Some of the traits of the Series 3 cars of the teens were adopted, most obviously, their grand wheel bases of 137, 142 and 147 inches. For the top of the line Model 41 cars the 147 inches wheelbase was used to revive, quite literally, the splendor of the legendary 66. Accompanying these biggest models was a new 132 horsepower straight 8 motor, the most powerful 8 cylinder American engine in its class. The thick single bar bumper, unique to Pierce's with this engine, announced this model's exclusivity. The 1931 line included other visual cues. There was a deeper radiator shell and more bright work on the cars, ostensibly to offset the industry trend to more restrained colors. A new, bare-headed Archer radiator cap ornament was designed for these cars, built, ironically, at General Motors. There was technical innovation in these 1931 cars, too. Freewheeling in the transmission was the new automotive engineering device for that year and it was included in all Pierce Arrows. The convertible sedan body style was one of a new line of 5 series custom bodies built by coach builder LeBaron which also included a convertible Victoria, a coupe, a limousine and a club sedan. The series custom bodies were a highlight of the classic era. The customer received an individually trimmed rear body style in a much shorter period of time than would be possible in a custom body. The coach builder made a small group of the same design, finishing it as far as the primer and protective coat or in the white. The customer came into the Pierce Arrow showroom, not the coach builder's office, to place the order. Pierce Arrow then guided the finishing of the car body and its chassis. Purchased by Mr. Browning in 1972 from San Francisco resident Mr. James Weston, this fine example was then submitted to a thorough and correct restoration. The Pierce's attractive light and dark brown color combination with orange pinstriping were popular hues of the classic period. Details in the body design, such as the large exposed chrome door hinges, were a coach builder hallmark of the time. The windshield washers are a nice touch as are the contoured side mount mirrors. The shapely metal trunk was designed just for this model. The interior also reflects a coach builder's fine touch with adjustable front seats and footrests in the lovely rear compartment. The car is fitted with the correct bare-headed Archer radiator cap as well as dual side spares with canvas covers, tilt tray headlamps, dual running lights, dual horns and a narrow light tail lamp. Pierce Arrows were built to be the center of attention. This coach builder's elegant design, using the longest wheelbase Pierce Arrow chassis, sustains that luster to this day.